the floor just slime? Grass typing. I couldn't have been the only one who was confused that it wasn't part grass type, and after looking into its background, it's even more confusing. So of course, its fairy typing indicates that some inspiration is from fairies and nymphs, which is present throughout the evolutionary line. In particular, they are based off Greek mythology nymphs Chloris and Anthalzai and Athea, a goddess. And the important thing to take away from this is that they were told to have a strong connection with flowers, which if you look at the evolutionary line, it is comprised of the Pokemon itself and the flower that gradually integrates with its being, and so it should come out as part grass typing. I mean, just look at the other Pokemon associated with flowers. Meganium, Roserade, Lilligant, some Flora, you know, just to name a few. And this association with flowers can be clearly seen in their designs, where they can be found in the games like Florio Nature Park for new Pokemon Snap, Pony Meadow, Melee Melee Meadow, to name a few. The fact that they acquire the flower availability that particularly supports grass types only further supports this point too. Their names are even derived of flower, leaf, bud, and flora, flora being a word that relates to plants, and is even categorized by the Pokedex as the Garden Pokemon and the Single Bloom Pokemon. Speaking of the Pokedex, each of their deck entries speak at great length about how they draw their powers from flowers, and is a caretaker for gardens and fields of flowers, even going so far as to indicate that each colored flower has a particular quality to it. All of these aspects are present in their various anime appearances and their dex entries too. And to top it all off, they can even learn many grass type moves already, either naturally or through TMs. And this is despite the fact that it isn't even part of the grass egg group. The Go Go line, normal typing. The basis for this is based around the design of the line closely resembling that of goats. I mean, you can tell just from a glance, can't you? But also vehicles, in particular bikes and motorbikes, since you can ride on a go go around like a motorbike, like in Pokemon X and Y. Hence why they were given the category of the Ride and Mount Pokemon. And even Go Go's name etymology referencing the sounds of a motorbike with vroom and rumbling. Even their deck entries mention they inhabit rocky mountains, like the real world goats. And this familiar pattern of Pokemon being based off real world animals or mundane aspects of life are given the normal typing. This is exactly why such Pokemon like the Pyro line are part normal, because they're based on lions and cubs, or especially the Sarsbuck line being based on deers, Meltank being based off cows, Tauros being based off bulls, you, know, you get the idea. So I don't see why this couldn't also apply to the Go-Go line since they are based on and exhibit behaviors akin to, well, normal terrestrial goats. And at the same time, it can learn the exclusive normal type move Melt Drink, a normal type move once exclusive to Melt Tank, another terrestrial inspired based normal type. Spritzy, Flying Typing While I couldn't really see Aromatis being any other type, Spritzy I'm surprised isn't part flying since, well, Wings? I mean, just look at this design, those appendages I believe are wings, are they not? And in the anime, movies, manga, and games, there were numerous times it was seen flying in the air, no? Sure, it learns barely any flying type moves, but that doesn't stop it from looking like, well, a bird. In fact, the reason it may have wings may likely be inspired from small birds such as hummingbirds and owls. I rest my case on this one. Xerneas, Grass Typing. This, I will acknowledge, is a bit of a stretch, but hear me out. Xerneas is capable of granting eternal life and healing as shown in the anime and movie, in its dex entries and other side game appearances as well, which could be interpreted as a characteristic of grass type Pokemon as they are also known for having healing capabilities, exhibiting such moves as aromatherapy, Giga Drain and Synthesis, to name a few. Hell, it is even one of the few non-grass type Pokemon to learn the move Ingrain, a grass type move. Where Xerneas mostly resigns, as expressed in the anime and manga, tends to be in quiet places and close to nature, such as forests. And the fact that it regresses into a dormant tree state could be interpreted as a grass type characteristic, as tree-like Pokemon such as Trevenant translate into a grass typing. Even its name etymology contains the word for Earth, possibly in reference to the various blossoming of life on Earth. The Lycan Rock Line, Ground Typing. 
The ground typing derives from the fact that they are found in relatively dry and desert environments such as Vast Pony Canyon, Ten Carat Hill, Pot Bottom Desert, Sweltering Sands, Barren Badlands, Mountain Biomes and Scarlet and Violet like Alphonada Cavern, Glacida Mountain, you get the idea. This may stem from its possible connotations with the extinct Japanese and Hokkaido wolves or Yama Inu, literally Mountain Dog, and the Escorting Dog or Okuri Inu Yokai Spirit that were known to inhabit mountains. Lycanroc Midday Form even gets the Sand Rush ability which further expresses its connection to the ground typing, and is an ability mostly associated with ground type Pokemon. Plus, for what it's worth, it does get a good amount of ground type moves already. Confei, Grass Typing So in case it wasn't obvious here, as indicated in its official design, having the flower availability, its animate dex entries, its in-game dex entries, its signature move floral healing aka flower healing in Japanese, its photo dex entry and its name etymology, it clearly has connections with flowers, and in Pokemon this translates to the grass typing. Just look at Pokemon like Lilligant, Roserade, Meganium, and so on. This may also explain why it is a part of the grass egg group, which that may stem from being based on lees, also known as garlands or wreaths, that are given as gifts to other people in Hawaiian culture. It also holds onto these flowers with its vines, another characteristic of grass types, and tend to inhabit areas with lots of vegetation, gardens, and foresty like the lush jungle and Florido nature park. And most notably, it can learn a massive amount of grass type moves already, including grass moves that are associated with healing and particularly with grassy terrain, a move mostly associated with grass type Pokemon, obviously. Puku Muku, Poison Typing. For this type, it mainly comes from the fact that its ability to expel its internal organs when in combat, as shown in the anime, games, and dex entries which are confidently inspired from sea cucumbers emitting cuvierian tubules as indicated by its Pokemon category and name etymology, which interestingly enough do in fact contain toxins called holothurin. So it may be debatable to say that Pukumuku's internal organs are akin to real world sea cucumbers and maybe why it has the ability to learn the move Toxic and other poison related moves like Gastro Acid, Venom Drench, and Purify being its signature move. So while only going off of one particular thing, it certainly is arguable. Necrozma, Dark Typing Now, in addition to regular Necrozma's pure black coloring aesthetic, its original form appears to be partially inspired by falling angels with its angelic appearance, more specifically Lucifer, whose name can be interpreted as the devil in Christian theology, and the personification of evil. In addition, its name etymology includes the word Necros Necros, which in ancient Greek means dead, something that some dark type Pokemon are embodied as or capable of inflicting. Having evil characteristics, it does express this as being the main antagonist in the Ultra Sun and Moon games, the anime, miniseries such as Pokemon Evolutions and the Pokemon Adventures manga, trying to seek out the other two light duo. This is especially derivative of its habit of seeking out light through its violent and rageful rampages as described in its dex entries, and this is just regular Necrozma. If we count Dustmane and Dawn Wings Necrozma, then it gets even worse as Necrozma takes full control of them without any will of their own, causing them both to become vicious and violent and go on rampages while constantly draining away their limitless energy for it to consume. Which, as a side note, is also why both of those forms should be part dark typing. Plus, it does get a fair amount of dark type moves already for a non dark type Pokemon. Meltan, Electric Typing. Well, as made apparent by the official Pokemon website, Meltan and by proxy Melmetal are capable of generating electricity from the metal they absorb from outside sources and using it in attacks. This is as well stated in their dex entries and even in their appearances in the anime. In fact, it and Melmetal's liquid body has been confirmed to be based on gallium, a type of element that is used in semiconductors for their electronic affinity, and used in electronic devices. In addition, it may also be partially inspired by mercury, a metallic element for the same reasons. And for a non-electric type, it sure does learn a fair amount of electric type moves.